in case you guys missed the community post, Relity Income raises its dividend. So Relity Income declares 0.2475 cents per share monthly, uh, which is a 0.2% uh, percent increase from the prior dividend of 0 0.2470 uh, cents that they were paying. Uh, X dividend date is actually wrong. I'm assuming this is going to actually be June 30th, and then uh, the payout date is July 15th. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you have plenty of time to uh, still accumulate some shares and then you will get paid out on July 15th. Uh, so congrats to all the Relity Income shareholders. Obviously, it's not a lot, uh, but they do typically raise their dividend every quarter. What's up, everybody? That's Investing Sensei here to bring you episode 139 of the Portfolio Update. So you guys already know it's Sunday. It's time to come back, see how the perform portfolio performed this week. Uh, but in this episode, I am going to be going over how the portfolio performed this week as well. Well, then we'll jump into the activities where I'll show you what I bought, what I sold, any dividends that came in. And then from there, uh, in those activities, I'll show you how much in dividends we've collected so far for this month. It'll definitely be really exciting. We still have about 11-ish or 12 more days before the end of the month of June. Remember that uh, if I actually show you guys these, the quarterly dividends, uh, we do get majority of our dividends on the last month of the quarter, which uh, June is our third month. Uh, so we should see this much, much higher and uh, definitely always really exciting. Uh, but uh, aside from that, we will definitely come back, kick off these scripts, see how much our dividend snowball continues to grow and grow. Remember, the portfolio is actually going down and, uh, you know, we're going to continue to buy the dip and uh, just dollar cost average all the way down and then continue uh, when it comes back up. And uh, what really helps is just seeing this portfolio continue to uh, grow these projections every single week and it just keeps us motivated especially also companies that we are invested that continue to raise their dividend for us doing absolutely nothing guys uh, we, you know we just go to work or you know you do other things and uh, they're like here here's a great dividend for uh, being a great shareholder and uh, you know definitely keeps us motivated uh, but anyways by the end of the video we should see this much higher Remember that our goal is to try to get this to $300 on average per month. Uh, that is our 2022 goal. We'll definitely hopefully achieve it if we look at the, our goals for 2022. Uh, one of them we've already reached. So thank you so much for every subscriber that has subscribed to the channel uh, as well. Any new subscribers that are here, be sure to subscribe with that bell notification. It's completely free and I definitely appreciate it uh, as well. Drop a big thumbs up on the videos while you guys are there. Uh, but uh, anyways, this is our goal number two, which is trying to achieve $300 per month on average each quarter which i think is totally achievable guys uh and actually yeah this is actually per month so that would be about 900 dollars a quarter and uh definitely looking forward to it continue to dollar cost average 100 dollars every single week uh though we're continuing to do that which i'll show you in the activities no matter what the portfolio is doing uh definitely i'm trying to get ready for the recession that i think is we're gonna definitely be in a recession if we're not already in one uh, so definitely i'll give you guys my thoughts on that uh, but we we'll continue to drip the dividends so every time a company pays us out we also uh, add an additional 20 dollars so that the following quarter it accumulates even more shares uh, as well here this one is probably not going to get achieved <laughs> that is because the portfolio is down about maybe from its all-time highs i would say 40 about 50 almost sixty thousand dollars and uh, that is because my portfolio is heavily concentrated in tech and that is majority of my, where my holdings are and uh, definitely not worried about it uh, you know it's short term uh, we are going to continue to accumulate these shares and uh, in the long term we should uh, you know recover and uh, you know it'll be very uh, very awesome our future selves are going to thank us uh, because we bought uh, while everybody was fearful as well if we look here guys uh, you'll see that uh, quarterly dividends continue to go up and up and uh, as well 2021 uh, I guess 2022 well, I guess 2021 Q4 and 2022 Q1 and then 2022 Q2. That is where the market just continue to go downwards. Uh, and so we see still all these dividends continue to pour in as well. All the dividend raises, guys. Let me show you this. Uh, so there's another script I have available for free. But look at all these raises we have gotten 
from these awesome companies in our portfolio and uh, whenever we kick off this script we should see the reality income dividend pop up as well but it's just super awesome having uh, dividend growth investing for us uh, but uh, yeah uh, so that is what we're gonna go over in this video guys uh, so let's go ahead and get started all right guys so as you guys can see the portfolio is at hundred and sixty four thousand forty two dollars and thirty six cents quite a bit of a drop so far uh, buying power is four dollars forty nine cents uh, before we do jump into the value over time I do want to thank all the uh, fathers out there happy father's day and uh, hopefully you have a great day today but over if we look at the value over time uh, let's look at the one week you'll see that we're down about 5.07 percent which is about eight thousand almost nine thousand dollars and uh, you see that we have gone down for the one month guys uh, we are actually down 10 point uh, 44% which is about $19,000 uh, we hit it high of 186,000 and then we just been going down uh, and then if we look at the one quarter uh, we've actually been on a downtrend so 19.10% uh, which is about 38,000 almost not almost 39,000 and uh, we just been downwards downwards and uh, hitting lower lows and uh, you know it's definitely we've been averaging down and i think in the long term this should pay us off very very well uh one year guys uh you'll see we're still down about 11.16 percent which is about nineteen thousand, almost twenty thousand uh, dollars but you'll see this very volatile movements ups downs ups downs over here as i told you guys about two hundred seventeen thousand was our highest that we've ever hit and then uh, we've just dropped all the way down to 164,000 so quite a huge drop there uh, but we're gonna be uh, continue to buy this and continue to accumulate shares because in the long term that's what we want to do uh, one of the things I actually want to do is eventually move off m1 once I have a lot of these companies at at least 100 shares I do want to start selling covered calls uh, I do that in my other portfolios and uh, it's actually some pretty great revenue that I can continue to collect and then reinvest back into the companies and uh, just make some extra uh, some extra money and uh, just reinvest it to even accumulate those shares even farther and farther and grow that dividends much much more uh, but uh, that is one thing I'm thinking about doing in this portfolio uh, but uh, we will see what happens there if we look at the overall uh, you'll see we are up about 40.98 percent uh, and then this is about 42,000 uh, but over the long term you see we've been up this is actually the 2020 crash which I show almost every week uh, but just so I can show you guys that was a huge drop when we were back then this was almost how this one looks uh, but now as you see over time in these uh, almost two years it looks like a very very small dip but in reality when we were in the time that was a huge drop and uh, this is what this is going to see hopefully in a couple years when we start recovering and we're going to be taking that opportunity and i guess this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you something here's the fear and greed index so as you guys can see that we are in the extreme fear uh, 14 points of extreme fear very very low guys and uh, you know typically when you're in the neutral uh, and the greed and the extreme greed that is when we're like just in the bull run and just hitting all-time highs after all-time highs this one is just like we're hitting low uh, lower lows every single time and as you can see previously closed extreme fear one week ago we were at fear one month ago we were at extreme fear and then one year ago fear uh, so you can see this volatility here and uh, as you saw that with my value over time this super volatile moments here with the one year that is that that right there but you know in our terms we don't really care because we're invested for the long term we're going to continue to see that cash flow come in every single time and we're going to continue to dollar cost average reinvest our dividends continue to uh, collect all those dividend raises we are getting from these great companies and i think in the long term we're going to it's going to pay off very well our future selves will thank us uh, but anyways uh, as well one thing here in the activities uh, i'll show you the what we've uh, done this past week so the 13th is when we started this of uh, june and uh, if we scroll to the bottom you'll see that on the 13th guys we got a 3m dividend of 40 dollars and 47 cents pretty sweet dividend uh, and then on the 13th we reinvested two dividends uh, which was from the previous week and that was pfizer and target guys i've been buying a lot of target especially at these deals guys 
can't go wrong with a 3% dividend yield almost. I wish I had some more money right now because otherwise I'd be buying more. But I'm slowly going and slowly dollar cost averaging into these companies because they could potentially even fall further. And so, you know, we don't know what the market might do. But uh, what I'm trying to do here is prepare for this recession is trying to build up my emergency fund. I'm trying to make sure that I don't have any debt and uh, because the worst thing you could possibly do is be in debt and then you get laid off and then you start having to tap into your portfolios and uh, that's the worst possible time because at that point potentially the market could be at its lowest and uh, really what you want to be doing at that point is buying and so that's one of the one of the things is I want to make sure I have my emergency fund have zero debt I actually sold uh, I actually got rid of all my m1 borrow there I paid it all off and uh, you know I'm just trying to accumulate some cash while I continue to dollar cost average because nobody knows what the market might do and uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna continue doing and then once I start seeing uh, that we hit closer to the bottom I will start deploying some cash and uh, you know we're gonna continue to accumulate more shares but uh, you'll see in the 14th guys we actually got a dividend from Skyworks uh, $27.90 a uh, pretty sweet dividend there on the 14th as well we did one buy we re reinvested the 3m dividend bought it back and if you look we bought about 0.29 shares at 137 pretty sweet price there uh, and then if we uh, look here we got a relative income dividend uh, which is $16.30 we actually did get that raise guys which we'll see in a bit uh, but uh, we reinvested the Skyworks solution back into itself uh, pretty sweet there 16th we got two dividends Duke Energy $26.66 Home Depot $20.80 and then I reinvested well, I guess I, I deposited $200, uh, so $200, $100 for the dollar cost average. And then I actually got five companies that paid me out that week. So I had to do uh, $20 for each company. So 20 times five is 100. So we did seven buys on the 16th, uh, $216.30. So $20 waste management because they did pay as a dividend. Home Depot, Skyworks, Duke Energy, Target, uh, we actually believe, yeah, we did that last week. Uh, and then we got relative income, dividend, plus an additional $20. And uh, this 50 and this 50 was the $100 dollar cost average into the portfolio, no matter what it's doing. So $50 into Target, $50 into Starbucks. There's just so many great deals right now. And I don't have enough co uh, capital because I'm trying to beef up my emergency fund here. Uh, but on the 17th, we got waste management, $4.49. Uh, and then on the 17th, we reinvested the two dividends. Uh, so Duke Energy and then Home Depot. Look at Home Depot, guys. Pretty sweet price there, $274. Uh, so definitely want to buy some Home Depot as well. But let me show you guys what I actually collected this week in dividends for doing absolutely nothing. I have this green button. I have a tutorial on this. It's a script that I wrote completely available for free all i ask in return is that you subscribe with that bell notification if you have not done so already and you drop a big thumbs up on my videos to help out the channel but uh, i actually am gonna be releasing a video on how to fix this because three uh not 3m but uh, m1 actually broke it when they released this new feature which is not that very good i tried it out and kind of sucks because it doesn't it only goes it only does this, this page uh, for downloading the files. I, I wish it did it further out uh, aside from this page. But anyways, uh, check it out. I will be releasing a, a fix on it. I already have it on GitHub if you don't want to wait for the video. Uh, so you're going to click calculate and uh, we made $136.62. Uh, so that is pretty sweet guys passive income these 136 dollars will get reinvested into the portfolio which continues to buy more shares and the lower the portfolio is actually down the more buying power these dividends have to accumulate more shares and that is the beauty and that is why i'm not panicking and i'm not selling i'm actually buying more and that is the beautiful thing about this but uh as while we're here i'm going to show you guys how much we've collected so far this month uh, for dividends uh, which is actually pretty cool we still have two more weeks of dividends that are supposed to come in which let me show you the google sheets if i show you the dividend page
payout uh, we are expected to have about uh, these other companies paying me out left as well if we look at the right these also declared dividend raises so definitely looking forward to these uh, so let's find out uh, if we go ahead and um, actually start this from the first of june and uh, we filter out by dividends only uh, and we scroll all the way down as you'll see american waterworks started us very very well and then uh, we can just uh, add up all these dividends which the script will do it for us so let's go ahead and find out click calculate and guys 296 dollars and 18 cents almost 300 dollars is that we've collected so far in dividends for doing absolutely nothing in this uh month imagine where we're generating even more uh next quarter and the following quarter and so on and so on beautiful thing guys well, let me know what you guys how much you guys been collecting so far uh this month and dividends and the comment section i'll be very excited to see how much you guys are collecting and possibly what's your biggest company that has paid you out so far this month uh, i believe mine should be right around the 49 so microsoft is my biggest paying uh company this month so far so uh, let me know if you guys have beat that uh, or if it's Microsoft. But uh, yeah, guys, this is what I have for you on the activities. Let me show you real quick on the holdings. I'll, sh I'll filter out everything. So we're still up about 30% overall, about 38,000. Uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and filter this out by unrealized gains. We're still up quite a bit on some of these companies but if we look at the red which is what I like to do I like to buy the red we our biggest company that we're down on is Target then followed by 3M Starbucks companies I wouldn't mind buying more uh, JP Morgan man that I really want to buy more JP Morgan and we will see uh, as well Altria all great companies I'm gonna continue to average in uh, just the main thing is just uh, money guys I want to beef up that emergency fund again just like I mentioned earlier and uh, once I I do that I will start deploying a little bit more cash because I'll have more available hopefully and we will see what happens there but uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump over to the Google Sheets so I can show you guys uh, how much we made this week and uh, you know increase that passive snowball uh, and if we look here guys uh, I went ahead and made this uh, copy already so we can see the difference once we kick off these scripts but uh, real quick annual dividends guys you'll see that we're at $1,154.55 remember that for this month we will just add up about $300 more so very very looking forward to it it's gonna be up about a thousand five hundred hopefully uh, you know we will see what happens there but uh, if we look at the dividend payout guys let's go ahead and uh, actually uh, kick off the script I actually am gonna plan to work on a fix because sometimes whenever you kick off the script if too many people are using it uh, seeking alpha thinks it's a bot and you get like an error so uh, I will hopefully work at a, f a workaround for this but you click portfolio tools get latest dividends and uh, if we don't run into it we should see the relative income uh, dividend raise be picked up so we give it a second it looks like it is going to work uh, so now it's actually going out and retrieving all the information for all my companies and uh yeah look here guys guys here's the relative income dividend raise that i showed you guys earlier and uh, again we have all these companies left for the month of june so definitely looking forward to it and then we'll start off strong with nvidia with the mini uh, mini dividend that they pay out such a small amount of dividend that they do pay out uh, but uh, yeah that's it for the dividends that we are expected to come in uh, as well if we look here to settings guys we'll go ahead and delete this and then uh, let's jump into personal capital so we can grab the latest version or the latest updated holdings of our portfolio so we can see how much we grew that dividend snowball this week all right guys so we're at personal capital you'll see i'm on my m1 account you'll see this green button click on it this actually copies the content of the portfolio of m1 into my clipboard which then I can jump back over uh, and then paste special values only and then we are ready to go I'll go here to holdings uh, this is actually just the I guess parsed version of that paste what well, uh, we just pasted uh, so you click on this portfolio tools and then once you click update portfolio holdings this will get wiped and it'll use the new version we just pasted so click on it 
and uh, there's gonna go calculating this should have all our purchases from this week and uh, everything's being calculated uh, and uh, should be done shortly guys uh, and yep there it goes guys so dividend yield is actually a lot higher 1.98% versus 1.88% definitely expected that because the portfolio has done uh, has moved down in value and uh, dividend yield guys we are still at 2.59% which is pretty good uh, for the year we're expected to make to three thousand two hundred fifty two dollars and sixty four cents compared to three thousand two hundred thirty nine dollars so we went up about 13 13 13 or so dollars uh, and then for the month we are actually uh, we actually broke the 270 so we're at 271 dollars and five cents per month is what we would make on average uh, for the week uh, sixty two dollars fifty five cents so we went up about uh, what twenty five cents so pretty cool day we went up about three pennies uh, for the hour we still we're still making about thirty seven cents every hour and then hourly work wage this is if our portfolio was to work a forty hour work week they would get paid at an hourly rate of a dollar fifty six cents per uh, hour and uh, you know hopefully eventually we can get this to minimum wage uh, but uh, yeah guys if uh, this is actually all i have for you again let me know uh what dividends you are actually getting paid this month uh, or what's your biggest dividend payment so far for this month i'll definitely be happy to hear what you guys have and uh this is actually all i have if you stuck all the way to the very end be sure to drop a hashtag dividends because you know those dividends are beautiful especially in this type of market condition you guys saw the greed and fear index definitely we're in extreme fear and we're going to continue to buy that dip continue to dollar cost average and then the long term i think we will be very very well off but uh, i will catch you guys in the next video again be sure that you're subscribed with that notification if you have not done so and uh, drop a big thumbs up on the video to help out the channel definitely really appreciate it and uh, i will see you guys in the next video take care stay safe out there bye guys